Now, having said that, <clears throat> let me reiterate. The Torah is the most important document in the possession of fallen man. Fallen men are men and women who have no access to God. Because the only access to God, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Okay? So unless you are a believer, unless you are in Christ, that person will have no access to God. At least not the one true God. There are many other gods with small g's, but there is only one true God. And the only way to Him is through Jesus Christ. So without being in Christ, the Torah is the next best thing. It's the next best thing. See? Because the Torah is the loftiest of covenants that expresses the character, holiness, and goodness of God. The Torah. Now, having said that, you will recall that the Torah was given basically for two reasons. The first we will find in Galatians 3.19. What purpose does the Torah serve or the law? It was added because of transgressions. And then the second one, and then let me put this together, we find in Romans 7.13. Has then what is good, talking about the Torah, the good thing, become death to me? Certainly not. But sin, that it might appear sin, was producing death in me through what is good, which is the Torah. That's the context of this. So that sin through the commandment or the Torah might become exceedingly sinful. So the purpose of the Torah is to make sin look more sinful. The purpose of the Torah is not for self-perfection. The purpose of the Torah is not to make you godly. That was not the purpose of the Torah. God did not release the Torah so that we would become holier. The purpose of the Torah is to mirror to us, to reflect to us how sinful and how depraved and how wicked we are. That's the purpose of the Torah. Now, I'm not saying that the Torah is bad. No. In fact, by saying what I said, I am affirming that the Torah is good. Because it says, God is good. And he demands that you be good. Let's use the biblical term, God is holy. And he demands that you be holy. The problem with the Torah is that it, it does not empower you to become holy. It simply says, you better be holy. And so even when we say, help me, the Torah says, no, 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 no. You do it yourself. Remember what happened. Remember the story I gave you. For those of you that were not here a couple of weeks back, uh, I, I beg your indulgence at this point. I don't have time to give the whole story. Get the copy of, the, of my teaching, How is Grace Better Than the Law? But remember, God was blessing Israel as they left Egypt. God was blessing them based on God's goodness. So even though they complained and complained, you know, Red Sea, so He parted it for them. Uh, bitter waters, he made water come out of a rock. No food, he made it rain manna from heaven. He was blessing them in spite of how the Jews were. But when they, when they reached Sinai and they said, you know what, Moses, we're scared of God. You go up, you just tell us what he wants, and we will do. See, they said, we don't care about the relationship. In effect, that's what they're saying. That's what they were saying. And God says, okay, fine. You want me to bless you according to your obedience and not according to my goodness? Here's the law. Now you do it, and then I will bless. So if you manage to do the law, God will bless you. The problem is no one can. No one can, can fulfill the law without the Holy Spirit. You and I are doomed to hopelessness without the Holy Spirit. It is only through the Holy Spirit that the law can be fulfilled. That's why Jesus was 
filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's why he was able to not commit murder and all that stuff like that, but not, but went even the next mile so that his righteousness would exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. He said, don't only just not murder, don't hate. Don't hate. Don't just not commit adultery, don't lust. He went, he, he brought out the very spirit of the Lord, which is love. <clears throat> so here we see that the purpose of the law was to make sin exceedingly sinful. In other words, it continually reflects to us God's exceeding holiness and our exceeding sinfulness. Therefore, with the law comes condemnation. Now to the Jews, because many of them, praise God, many of them are giving their lives to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, but many of them still don't know Jesus as their Messiah. And so the Torah is still, and you can find it in that website, ayush.com, uh, you will find there a lot. Shavuot is basically about the law, as far as they're concerned. Because it is the, it is what made the nation of Israel stand above all other nations. We have the true God. We have the loftiest of laws and ideals given, handwritten by God Himself. That's what the Bible says. He wrote it with His finger. No other religion can claim that their God wrote their laws. But the Torah was written by God. So because of this, the commandment was given so that sin might become exceedingly sinful. The commandment clearly, the Torah clearly cannot and was not designed to perfect us. It was never designed for that. It is a good and holy document, but it was never designed to perfect us. Never. Because of this, the Torah was always meant, the Torah has an expiration date. Let me show you. Galatians 3.19. Why then was the law given? It was given alongside the promise, so the promise was never deleted, to show people their sins. See that? It was given to show people their sins. But the law was designed to last only until the coming of the child who was promised. So there is an until, which is an expiration date. My hanganan. Okay, agangyun. <laughs> See, there is an until to the Torah. Let me give you another one. In Hebrews 8.13, when God speaks of a new covenant, it means He has made the first one obsolete. So it expired. It is now out of date and will soon disappear. Galatians 3.24.25 Let me put it another way. The law was our guardian until, everyone say until. until. Now you know what until means, right? It means up to the point of. So the law was our guardian. So the law is the guardian or uh, King James likes to use the word tutor. Until Christ came, it protected us until we could be made right with God through faith. See, the Jews believe that the Torah, the study of the Torah, is the way to self-perfection. But Paul, a Jew, said that the, the, the law is good, it protected us until we could be made right. The law cannot make anyone right. With all due respect to what the Jews believe, the law, the Torah, cannot make anyone right. Because if it could, Jesus didn't have to come. <laughs> 